by placating certain interest groups at the expense of public education, this administration has made Albertans both angry and embarrassed. Ordinary citizens, parents, teachers, academics, and religious groups have all joined together to support public education and oppose enshrining parental rights into the Human Rights Code. To the Premier, why is the government unwilling to accept the voice of the majority and protect public education? The Honourable the Premier. Mr. Uh, <coughs> Speaker, the uh, bill uh, does protect uh, parental rights. We believe that uh, families are really the foundation of our society, and uh, that's what uh, we are committed to. The Canadian Civil Liberties Association, whose goal is to protect freedoms, states that this legislation will, quote, promote a regime of religious intolerance, end quote. Why is the government protecting special interests at the expense of society? The Honourable the Premier. Well, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we are, have listened and will listen as a government. The intention of this bill was never to have undue fear, undue duress put upon any members of the teaching profession, any members of the school board. We have an amendment that we will propose and bring forward tomorrow that will make the wording clear. And to clarify what we intend to do, we, we will add a section which will state this. That later, the Honourable Leader. Again, to the Premier, our public school system is designed to impart knowledge. It is not designed to reinforce dogma. Why is the government persisting in its attempt to break down this core role of public education? The Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, obviously the, the Honourable Member doesn't, didn't listen to the last answer. We have listened to the ASBA, we've listened to the ATA, we've, I've actually had uh, numerous conversations last week with the Canadian Civil Liberties Association. They have concerns and we as a government, we're listening. We will make some amendments to make sure and clarify the intent of this caucus and this government. We, have, we will not put them in any undue circumstances, we will not cause them any undue pain and tomorrow you will see that.